I think there's a lot of reason. This is why you need someone going out there. Someone has to be the leader of the party and to be going out there and, and, and saying these things. And I'm sorry, like the idea uh, that Bernie Sanders saying he's going to stay in the debate is in any way inhibiting what Joe Biden needs to do. I mean, give me an effing break. Bernie Sanders is the only one doing any of what they need to do on a national level. I mean, I, mean, I and I, I, you know, I think that these guys, like, again, they just, they win national elections with a hugely charismatic individual like Barack Obama or Bill Clinton. And then everything else is just 2006 to them, which, you know, Ryan Grimm did an amazing job in his book of being like, Rahm Emanuel not only was not a strategic genius of 2006, he probably got in the way right. of, of significantly better outcomes. And I think the same yes. thing could have happened in 2018. I think the Democrats could have yep. picked up another like half a dozen seats, 10% seats, maybe 12, 15% if they had been better in choosing who they were going to fund uh, and particularly not being sort of like a, a pe pity, a petty about it and funding people who had actually gotten into uh, uh, gotten into the general elections like um, uh, in uh, Nebraska. Uh, Car Car I can't I remember. remember. And, but uh, the, but there are good people. They don't. I mean, they distance. Put, put, yeah. put aside for a second, you know, what Bernie is, is or is not doing. Let's just look specifically in terms of what can someone point to me? Like one fraction, like everybody, you know, like I hear this from people, you know, Bernie's got to drop out because, because uh, Biden's got to pivot. P what? what? Like what? Wh pivot to what? Like pivot. Joe Biden what? said yesterday that he did not want to get in a fight with Trump about Corona. So if you want him to pivot, I'm just talk to his campaign. Pivot from from what, what to, what? to what? what? Like I can't tell where he is, and I can't tell where he's going. And there there is not a shred of evidence that Bernie Sanders is inhibiting Joe Biden from doing anything. I'm sorry. To do a debate is the best thing for Joe Biden right now. I mean, put aside whether let's just assume that Joe Biden was capable of going to the debate, and I'm going to assume that. It's the only thing that's going to get any attention. Like where, you know, like, okay, I get it. He's doing, he, they figured out the, the ultimate production challenge of doing live streaming. Okay. I mean, so difficult. I'm up here and I'm like having to negotiate with my kids to not use the Wi-Fi because I'm up in the boonies. He's sitting in Maryland. He could have a T1 line in that place. He could have fiber. He probably already does. They figured that out. Now what? Now what? I mean, there, he, he's got to deliver stuff. And if doing a debate gets more eyeballs on him to deliver that, I'm just taking it from his perspective. It's going to give him the opportunity to shine. It's going to give him the opportunity to seem presidential. It's going to give him the opportunity to deliver a message that the American public will hear. Why would you not want that? Well, If I was Joe Biden, I'd yeah. be saying, I'd be calling Bernie on the phone going, like, do me a favor. Hang in there just till we have the debate so that we get a little bit of activity here. So that so that the main story is not Donald Trump going up there telling the American public that he's doing everything right. So we have an opportunity, we have a platform because I can't get, I could go and do like a, an address to the American public, but nobody's gonna watch. I'm gonna do a prime time address. Like a debate is actually gonna get some attention for this guy who's sitting in his basement and apparently like, I don't do we have clips of him on um on yeah, I mean uh, on like let, let's look at this just on on the view. He was on the view, good for him. But I mean I, but uh, what, what have you seen this clip of him on the view? I, I didn't see the one on the view. I've seen uh I think I saw the one with Tapper and a few others where he's, yeah, I mean, he was he's on you know, just with um you know. uh the what, what's her face? Uh, the former Republican on MSN. Oh yeah, MSC. Wallace, right? Yeah, where he's just like Donald Trump is a, well, I, I don't know. What? That's that. What? what? I shouldn't like, say it. Well, it's just, and, and I gotta, I gotta say like, again, it, <laughs> weird pull, but like when Tony Blair, before he was prime minister and it's a different system, but there's no rule to say you can't do this. 
you could say we're in a completely different time. I'm announcing a shadow cabinet. Well, on that, this is what, my talk, yeah. Well, so they did. They well, I mean, they they, they said yeah, he has Ron the shadow Klein. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying, but you could formal. I'm just saying, like you need to come out every single day and say, essentially, here is the government and waitings counter briefing counter platform yes this is you what know, i called for on yeah. friday the yeah, yeah, preen yeah. and i were talking about this yeah, yeah, on yeah. friday and they should be doing it and and even if it's like now this is this is where it gets really complicated because what you would need the terms of technology for this michael is that you would need joe biden to be sitting let's say somewhere like here and then ron Klain would have to be like somewhere like where you are right and that's almost impossible to do in this day yeah i know we have very advanced algorithms in the mr labs yeah. I mean, I've got a whole team of tech people uh, downstairs. What they're doing is they're now working on apparently on how you do this on TikTok. Oh, yeah. So, um, all right, let's play this clip of Joe Biden. He is on The View and, um, you know, he's in his uh, his studio. That is a uh, he's got the the books back there. I mean, it's a it's a nice thing. I, I it's not exactly the the camera angle I would do. I would. I would drop the camera a little bit because it makes him look like he's a little bit diminished. Uh, but go ahead. It's uh, it's not too dissimilar than mine, but I would I would I would drop it another inch. But go ahead. Uh, here's uh, Joe Biden. Vice on President the Biden. This is Sarah Haynes. In Hot Topics, we yes, talked sir. about Trump saying the government would reassess the recommended period for keeping businesses shut and people at home. Are you at all concerned, as Trump said, that we cannot let the cure be worse than the problem itself? We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. No matter what. We know what has to be done. We know you have to, you hear, you're tired of hearing the phrase, you got to flatten that curve where it's going up like this, people get it, and then comes down. We got to flatten that curve. And we got to make sure that once, in fact, we have this under control, it doesn't come back. So what we should be focusing on is getting all the help necessary in terms of testing, in terms of access to the gear that our first responders, our doctors, our nurses need in treating people. We should be getting extra beds and hospital beds beds in the major cities around the country, in the rural areas. I have a map here. I, won't, I can't, well, I don't want to show you. You can't see it. Um, he accidentally said the cure will make the problem worse. He literally did Trump's point. Well, yeah, I mean, totally, look, I mean, and he didn't mean to. I of guess. course he didn't mean but to. But the, the problem is, is that like, what, what people desperately want right now is to feel like there's someone they can trust at, uh, you know, the, 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 at, at the, at the, at the, the, the leadership of this. And if the guy can't even articulate what needs to be done in that fashion, it just does not exude confidence. I mean, that's just the bottom line. And, and to get back to your other point, it's like every time we see him sitting, it's fine for this uh, thing with the with the the view. All right, I get it. But that briefing he gives every day should be him standing up. He should be standing next to a map. He should show one, like right. you know, he's supposedly getting an, a ninety minute briefing every day. He should be able to look at the map, and there should be. I mean, even if it's just like I, I mean, look at the theater of this is so obvious. Uh, you know, there's a hot spot here. There's a hot spot here. We need 40,000 ventilators in this spot. We need 15,000 ventilators here. The federal government sent 4,000 to New York. That's insufficient. That's 10% of what we actually need there. We need to be able to build hospitals there. We need to anticipate. Here are three other potential hotspots that could come online in the next six weeks. We need to be able to, do, whatever. Like, you, like you, deliver something. Deliver something. This whole thing of like Donald Trump, he's, uh, you know... This guy, like, sh like, show some command of some numbers. Talk about the Defense Production Act. Talk about the, 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 you know, the specifics of this stuff. I think, Sam, I mean, this, though, is where it just, to me, like, uh, you don't need to have a, a high esteem of the Biden campaign to think that I'm sure there's people inside it that understand that. This is very basic stuff. I he is not capable of doing this. He's not capable of doing this. He is physically, 
mentally not capable of doing this in my estimation. And frankly, I said it as a joke, but you know, that last debate with Bernie was the most sort of conscious he's appeared to me in a year. And now it's like, did they shoot him up with adrenaline and it's wearing off? I mean, I said that flippantly a couple of days ago and now I'm beginning to legitimately wonder, like they needed to boost him up for that debate. He seemed more his old self. And now, I mean, he is not there. So you, you know, I don't know what, you know, I, look, it would be shocking. And maybe I, I, you know, never give the Democratic Party credit, but I, I cannot believe that they can't be considered. When Alex Wagner has a piece out called Stay Alive, Joe, that's a friendly piece. It's a friendly piece. That's a a Joe Biden sort of supporter <laughs> saying we need more than your corporal presence. It's just not going to work. Um, Brendan, should we use that one? That uh, that clip that you you just pulled, Brendan. Yes, I think I, I think it's a good uh, compare and contrast of uh, okay what's available right. to Democratic voters. Yeah, I mean let's 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 pull. I mean at the very least. You know, if uh, a debate is helpful, if it gets Joe Biden to sort of project again, like like you mentioned in the last debate, Biden was, was came off as much sharper. And um, I think it's it's very helpful for for whoever the Democratic nominee is. To be seen standing up at a podium and, and, and see, being seen as presidential. And right now, um, you know, what they got going in, in Biden's house just makes him look like he's not presidential uh, and he's not out there. And here is uh, here's a video of 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 Bernie Sanders. He is on. Um, uh, he's on MSNBC. Uh, he's talking from the rotunda at Capitol Hill. You know, I, I, I think like. The, um, the even if they had put a picture of like the rotunda behind Joe Biden, I mean, yeah. there's some, there's some, you know, look, there's <laughs> just basic this, stuff, this is, man. This is communications, you know, one oh one. They're putting him in a place that makes him look like he's a retiree. Like it looks like they've got him in a location that makes him look like he's a retired professor. Right. Here is Bernie Sanders, and he is, um, uh, this is he, he he's giving another, um. Uh, opportunity to sort of like um, show, you know, how you can respond to this stuff. Bail out the airline industry. If you're going to bail out tourism, if you're going to bail out hotels, etc., what you have to do is make sure that that money is going to protect working people. And what you're seeing in the United Kingdom, in other countries, is they are saying to employers, if you retain your workers, even if you furlough them, even if they're working from home, they're going to continue to get the paycheck that the government is providing. So bottom line is, yes, I do understand that major industries Industries, through no fault of their own, are in trouble. But our job is not to make these industries richer, not to allow them to do stock buybacks, but to protect the workers uh, in those companies. We have never, never, never failed to respond to a crisis as a people. And I tell you what, I'm so darn proud. And those poor people who have lost, you know, anyway. <laughs> I mean... You know, keep pushing I, I, for Bernie, guys. Maybe that can work. But I mean, at the very least, like they they need to um, they need to uh, they, they I mean, the, the debate is going to be helpful, I think, for uh, for Biden to just sort of get his energy up. 